What about my gift this year? How about as a gift you let me out of this virtual prison? I got, I got to spend my Christmas reading these people's tweets? Fine. I'm, go I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Fine. Bring it in. Gather around. It's week 16 here in the Fantasy Football Survival Kit, but more important than that, it's the holiday season. Okay, Christmas is upon us, it's the season of gift giving, and that's what we're gonna do here today in order to show our gratitude to all these players out there that give so much to this game so we can enjoy this stupid little hobby called fantasy football. We asked you people, the people, my people, if you could give a gift to an NFL player this holiday season, who would it be and why? Let's jump right into it, starting most importantly with this one. Yes, oh man, I would love to give the gift of healing to Chris Godwin. What a bummer to lose this guy in week 15. I mean, he's one of the best young receivers in the NFL right now. He does everything for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's Tom Brady's go-to guy over the middle. He makes big explosive plays. He's clutching the red zone, and he blocks his ass off for this team too. I mean, he's a huge loss for the Bucs down the stretch. It was a huge loss on several of my fantasy teams as well. So yes, I'd love to give the gift of healing to Chris Godwin so that he can go into free agency, make all the money that he deserves, and get back and playing ball next year because I absolutely just love watching this guy. All right, next one up. Yeah, Michael, if anybody deserves the gift of a good offensive line, it's Najee Harris. I mean, unbelievable that this guy has been as good as he's been in fantasy this year and been as inefficient as he has been as a runner, all because mostly he's playing in a really bad ecosystem. I mean, Najee Harris, what a brutal, brutal finish last week. Horrible end to his fantasy season. I mean, he can obviously, if you didn't get bounced by him last week, he can bring it back here in week 16, maybe. I would love to give him this gift so that next year we can see the fully formed Najee Harris. We can see him at the height of his powers. Excellent gift, Michael. We love it. Let's get this for him, I mean, sooner than later. And yeah, yeah, I would love to be able to give the gift of a time machine to Trevor Lawrence so that he can go back in time and not get drafted by the Jaguars. I mean, unbelievable. I know Urban Meyer has been fired. I, I know that it's like ancient history or like they'd love it to be ancient history at this point, but what a failure. I mean, Jaguars, you got the thing. You got the golden goose, the one thing that everybody in the NFL wants, the young transformative franchise quarterback, the guy who is, could be a potential once in a generation prospect at that position. And you give him Urban Meyer, you basically basically waste the entire first year of his career, it's disgusting. And honestly, because the gift of a, of a time machine, last I checked, those are not real. Those are impossible to give. I would love to give the gift of common frickin' sense to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You can't mess this up again, all right? It's on you. It's your duty to Trevor Lawrence, to your fans, to all the other players on your roster, and frankly, to the NFL community in general, not to screw this thing up. So, with that gift of common sense, you better go hire the right coach. You better build the right culture around it, because if you fail Trevor Lawrence, I don't think we can ever forgive you. Even in the holiday spirit here, I'm gonna say, we'll just never forgive you. We'll never let that one go. And let's stay on the theme of rookie quarterbacks here. For all the gifts we've talked about, the gift of healing for Chris Godwin, the offensive line thing for Najee Harris, the time, certainly the time machine for Trevor Lawrence, all those are probably not gonna happen. This one is most likely going to happen. I believe that Justin Fields will get the gift of a new head coach. And frankly, again, it, you know, Justin Fields is not as much of a sure thing, or at least he wasn't coming to the NFL uh, as Trevor Lawrence was. It wasn't a lock that he was going to be good. And there are some kinks to work out in his game as well. There's no doubt about that. But I'm so sick and tired of these organizations failing these young quarterbacks who have potential to come in and change our game and breathe new life into these organizations. And they continue to screw it up. It's absolutely embarrassing. And honestly, at this point, like, listen, Matt Nagy's out there yelling at refs. He, he's freaking out, spiking challenge flags on the sideline. I think it will not just be a gift to Justin Fields, to Bears fans. I kind of think it'll be a little bit of a gift to Matt Nagy at this point, like some sweet relief. This one uh, is a gift we will be unwrapping here sooner or later. And now it's time for the worst tweet of the week. And I really don't want to be too hard uh, on you here, Corey, because I, I appreciate the spirit of your suggestion, I appreciate the generosity that you're suggesting you would love to go back in time and give J.K. Dobbins your knee after he tore his own ACL, couldn't even participate in the season. And there are a lot of people just like you out there, Corey, that were saying, you know, CMC, take my hamstrings or, or whatever, like giving your body parts to these injured players. And again, I appreciate the spirit 
of this suggestion, but in practice, Corey, I I'll admit, I don't know anything about you, all the other people out there, I don't know who you are, but I know you guys are not NFL players. I'm gonna go ahead and guess you're not premier athletes either. Um, your knee probably ain't doing J.K. Dobbins any good. I know if I tried to give J.K. Dobbins my knee, he'd laugh in my face and be like, what is this thing? This isn't gonna help me at all. This is a joke. You're not an athlete, you're not an NFL player. We gotta stop comparing ourselves to these guys. But the point here is, I, I do appreciate the generosity, and that is the way we're gonna end it here. It's about generosity, it's about showing the players our appreciation, because without the players, this isn't real. I mean, it's barely real anyways, it's fantasy football, but we won't even have this stupid little hobby without the players. So in the holiday spirit, in the holiday season, let's try to be as giving and as generous as possible. If there's a player who wins you your fantasy championship, consider donating some of the winnings to his charity, support a cause that he supports. And that is the way that as a community, we're all gonna get better. It's not just about winning, it's also about giving. Try to be a good person here.